Don Lord of hosts is the King of glory. Yahweh Sabaoth, Yahweh Sabaoth. Don Lord of hosts is the King of glory. Yahweh. We chant in the Holy Ghost, aha. Aha. We chant in the Holy Ghost. We chant in the Holy Ghost, 
Ghost, in the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost, we going up now, we going up now into Oh, carry us up, Lord, carry us up, Lord, into Oh, let's go up now, oh, let's go up now into Cause we chant in the Holy Ghost we chant in the Holy Ghost. We sing in the Holy Ghost. Wherever you are, pray in the Holy Ghost. Sing in the Holy Ghost. Chant in the Holy Ghost. Wherever you are, pray in the Holy Ghost, sing in the Holy Ghost, chant in the Holy Ghost. Wherever you are, pray in the Holy Ghost, sing in the Holy Ghost, chant in the Holy Ghost. Wherever you are. Pray in the Holy Ghost, sing in the Holy Ghost, chant in the Holy Ghost. Shada bena siriya babala neke tabaria, ranta ke tabaria skata, raba bela teria skabani. We are here again. Upon the mountains of Zion, strengthen us, O God, empower us, O God. Let your garment clothe us, cover us again. Give me oil in my lamp, Lord. Let my light never be dim. Keep me burning, keep me burning Until the coming of the King Give us oil in our lamp Let my light never be dim Keep me burning, keep me burning Until the coming of the King Oh, give us oil in our lamp Oh, let my light never be dim Oh, keep me burning, keep me burning until the coming of the King, who oh, give us oil in our lives? Oh, let my light never be dim. Oh, keep me burning, keep me burning. Until the coming of the King, the coming of the King. Give us oil in our lamp. Oh, let my light never be dim. Oh, keep me burning, keep me burning. Until the coming of the King. Oh, give me oil in my lamp. Oh, let my light never be dim. Oh, keep me burning, keep me burning. Until the coming of the King. Oh, give us oil in our lamp. Oh, let our light never be dim. Oh, keep me burning, keep me burning. Until the coming of the King. He give us oil in our love. Oh, let my light never be dim. Oh, keep me burning, keep me burning. Until the coming of the King. Oh, give us oil in our love. Oh, let our light never be dim. Oh, keep us burning, keep us burning. 
Until they pour me now the key. Oh, give me oil in my life. Oh, let my light never be dim. Oh, keep me burning, keep me burning. Until the coming of the king. Iba who? Iba. Iba who? Oh, Iba he. Oh, Iba he. Iba Iba he. Oh, Iba he. Oh, Iba he. Oh, Iba Iba he. Oh, Iba he. Until we see you face to face, until we know you more and more, our prayer will not stop, our passion will not die. Iba who, Iba. Until we see you face to face, until we know you more and more. I pray I will not stop. Our passion will not die. Iba who, Iba Iba he, Iba who, Iba who, Iba he, Iba Iba he, Oh Iba he, Oh Iba Iba he, Oh Iba he, Oh Iba Iba he, Oh Iba he, Oh Iba he. Hallow be thy name, O thy kingdom come. The one who answers prayer is your name. Hallow be thy name, thy kingdom come. The one who answers prayer is your name. Hallow be thy name, O thy kingdom come. The one who answers prayer is your name. Oh, hallow be thy name, O thy kingdom come. The one who answers prayer. Oh, hallow be thy name, oh, thy kingdom come, the one who answers prayers, the one who answers prayers, the one who answers prayers, the one who answers prayers is your name, the one, the one, the one who answers prayers, the one who answers prayers, the one who answers prayers is your name, oh, hallow be thy name, oh, Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. The one who answers prayer is your name. Oh, hallow be thy name, O. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. The one who answers prayer is your name. Elijah, Elijah called on you. By fire you answer the prayer for London. I say Moses, prophet Moses, call on you. By wind, you answer the prayer for London. What can't you do doesn't exist to. Who can't you change doesn't exist to. Hallow be thy name, O. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Aye. One who answers prayer is your name. Hallow be thy name, O. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Aye. One who answers prayer is your name. The one who answers prayers, the one who answers prayers, the one who answers prayer is your name. The one who answers prayers, the one who answers prayers, the one who answers prayer is your name. I say, hey, by my God, I want to help you. Give the Lord a shout. Ebenezer 2024, give the Lord a shout. Let the devil know he has lost. Give the Lord a shout. Okay. Ah. I believe the light, the light is stable now. Let me see how I can give 15 minute charge. Then we begin praying for the sick, doing the impartation and laying hands properly. With Jesus' joy in my heart, can you please help me appreciate your beloved 
Father, Apostle Joshua Habila, with his beloved wife. Thank you so much for having us here again. And also help me appreciate all the pastors of the Garden of Flames from different centers and all the leadership of the assembly. Help me appreciate my beloved mother for being with us all this while. I appreciate Apostle Pulus, Apostle Wang, and every other apostle in the house. And appreciate yourselves. Can you have your seat? Let me see our time myself, 15 minutes, then we begin. Like I said, today is the day that we are going to be praying for the sick. Today is the day we are going to be laying hands as much as possible. Strength was conserved and reserved yesterday specifically for this. Let your heart be open. The last day of every conference is the time and moment for only those that are tested. Jesus stood again and asked, is anyone tested? After they have eaten for so long, a time comes when you are already full and because you are full, you cannot take no more. But there is certain level of craving you can have for something else that has the ability to make you still want to create room within yourself to accommodate. You can be full and they will bring something that you like and you will still take it in. That means in that your stomach still have the capacity to be able to contain more. The last day of any conference is the time where if anyone is tested, like I said, if you have left yesterday, I assure you, you are okay. In fact, from the very first day of the conference, I stream online, it was powerful. Any day of the conference that you were able to attend is powerful enough. But you see, the part of a dust is like a shining light. It shines brighter and brighter onto a perfect day. And they grow from strength to strength, all of them that appear before God in Zion. There is never a time that you appear before God without a reward. I have not called the seed of Jacob to seek me in vain. Anytime we appear, there is a reward meant for you. The atmosphere of the presence of God is magical. It's supernatural. The amazing part of it is anytime you appear, you are unaware of what is happening. But there is always an addiction and a subtraction. An addiction in such a way that there are things that God look upon you. When you appear, there is, it's like an x-ray that is conducted on you. It's like they carry out a diagnosis. They carry out a proper check. And immediately when they do that, they find out, paraventure, there are certain things in you that is insufficient that need to be added. Suddenly, you are given to strength. So anytime we appear, we are obeying the commandment of they that wait upon the Lord. It's true that in this journey, you can get weary. It's true that in this journey, you can get tired. Put me that Isaiah. Media, find me that Isaiah. Let me just give a chart from that. Isaiah, what? 50. Did that wait upon the Lord. It is true that you can get weary. It's true that you can get tired. In fact, the Bible says even the youth can faint. It's very true. But the only way that you can survive... If you find the scripture, put it for me, please. It's when you wait upon the Lord that you are able to renew your strength so that you can be able to mount up with wings. You have a wing, but you don't know the possibility that lies in the wings until you wait on the Lord. The reason why others are flying, others are not flying, the difference is waiting. There is no body, there is no plane that does not have a technology required for it to be able to mount up. They have never designed an aircraft that cannot go up and remain in the sky. The technology is factored within the manufacturing design. Every aircraft, no matter how small it is, it has the same principle of aerodynamics. But until the pilot understands how to engage the possibility, he will look upon the plane and it will never go nowhere. In this kingdom economy, you go nowhere until you exercise your wings. You spread your wings and you fly. Eagles don't survive in the valley. They survive upon the mountain top. Here is so crowded. 
your voice can only be relevant when you appear in a corridor. There's a place where we meet. If I can't find you, there's a problem. When was the last time you had an encounter? You find yourself among people like Dr. Paul and Etchett. Find yourself among people like Bishop David Redipo. Find yourself among people like Dada Deboe. What happened is that you came upon a camp of eagles. But eventually, you have never met them in the flesh. Don't worry yourself. What is going on eh, is a recognition. And now you are aware that the location to which you appear is the same place these generals are appearing. What does that tell you? It tells you that you are in the right path. But you see, they have been appearing there for a long time before you came. And now you came, you must be able to understand that it's a protocol to which you must subscribe to. So the Bible says, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. If you don't appear in Zion, you can't have a placement. Apostolic speaking and keeping to your ordination happens when you wait upon the Lord. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and they shall not faint. It's a principle of aerodynamics. As powerful as an aircraft is, it borrowed from the principle of how eagles survive. And even eagle itself is not as strong as you think it is. The strength of the eagle is in its ability to be able to wait on the Lord. And that is the reason why Jesus Christ had 12 apostles as powerful as they could be. You can never have a better father in the Lord than Jesus Christ. You can never we can never upgrade upon the sacrificial work of Jesus. Everything we do is upon the benevolent of how much more he has done already. So our challenge is believing who has believed our report and to who is the arm of the Lord revealed. Our challenge is our ability to believe that Jesus can do. The question is not whether God can do or he cannot do. But can you believe that he can do? So who has believed our report? And to who is the arm of the Lord revealed? But for you to see the possibilities of God at working in your life, you must understand the technology of waiting on the Lord. So when you find yourself weak and feeble, when you find yourself perishing, you find yourself dying in a state of decadence, my brother, it's not because there's no possibility of resurrection. It's because you have not tapped into that economy because it is made available. They that wait upon the Lord. There is an inclusion criteria and there is an exclusion criteria. You must find yourself among a camp of those that wait upon the Lord. That is the only guarantee to which your strength can be renewed. If you don't wait upon the Lord, you are permitted to faint. You are permitted to get weary. But if you can, the Bible said you will run and never be tired. So you wonder how some of people, some of, some people, go as yonder and they never get tired. The secret is waiting. And I realize the more further you go with God, the more God wants to keep you to Himself. So you have to begin to value the economy of intimacy more than you can ever imagine. Because one minute of breath upon you can go a thousand times. I realize that the apostles were with Jesus for so long a time. He gave them exousia. He gave them power several times. They did all kinds of things. But immediately when he left them, all of them backslid. As powerful as they could be, immediately when Jesus left them, they backslided. So it's very possible that you can leave this conference today and because Apostle Abila is no longer with you, you are backslid. And yet again, these were people that were powerful within the confines of their father and the Lord. But immediately he was off. They vastly dead. In fact, they were so zealous. I will go and die with you. I will do this. But yet again, when he was not there, they vastly died. And what now became the challenge? I now realize they never understood the economy of waiting on the Lord. Because it's not what your father can do. It's what you have to do for yourself. So Jesus said, Peter, Peter, the devil desired to sweep you like a reed. But I've prayed for you. That what? That means it's possible for your faith to what? I bet that I may not want to understand that one. Let's give ourselves 10 years. After 10 years, we'll know who has disciples. Because if Jesus Christ has to pray for Peter so that his faith will not fail, it means that it's possible for faith to fail. There is a syndrome in Christianity called faith failure. 
that your friend that was once upon a time your fellowship coordinator right now is in a beer parlor do you know what happened to him so when Jesus came to Peter Peter you are the chief among this upon this rock I will build my church and the gate of hell so there is a gate in hell that tried to prevail what happened the spirit of death so I will build my church so that upon the economy of life and the resurrection it can continue to grow but the gate in hell tried to cover the last time your father and the Lord backslid, the gate of hell prevailed. I have had mentors that backslid it. And I realized that Jesus came and told Peter, I have prayed for you. But when you are strong now, what? So this is our responsibility now. What we want to do this night but adventure of God has prayed for some of us. Now that we are strong, we will strengthen the brethren. Because the reason why most of our spiritual children backslide is because we understand now we are strong. But we have not understand strengthening the brethren. We make the brethren. We manipulate the brethren. We don't strengthen the brethren. Your growth in ministry is upon the strength of what? Strengthening the brethren, because there is a syndrome called faith failure. And the only way faith can be revitalized is through the power of resurrection. So Jesus said, the word I speak unto you, they are what? Spirit and they are life. They appear before men that were dead and they came back to life. And men wonder how. Lazarus, comfort! How can a man speak with such kind of audacity? We thought it ended in Jesus. One named Paul entered into the same economy. And one day he appeared and he spoke the same happened. Men gathered, killed him, and he was able to resurrect. The day came, Peter too was beckoned upon. And he appeared in the house of one named Tabitha. Although she was dead, he looked upon her, she came back again. And Jesus can look upon people and say, Talitha Kumi. And people will arise. Now that you are strong, strengthen the brethren. So that is to let you understand that me and you are surviving because someone is praying for us. Hey. There is no amount of prayer you can pray that can keep you in this journey. I realize that you can be bewitched, my friends. I realize that prayer warriors are some of the people that face all kinds of attack the most. They can't understand why. The more they pray, the more the warfare is intensified. Sometimes it's not your prayer that we do it. It's the prayer of someone else. The Bible says, anyone sick, let him call forth the elders. And by eventually you are among the elders, you are sick. Call forth another elder. The time comes when the gift and the callings of God upon your head may not profit you. It is profit without so you must have the sensitivity in your spirit, in humility to bring yourself to an elder for the elder to pray for you. We never knew what happened again after Ananias met Paul, which was Saul. But we knew that if not because of Ananias, Saul would have been an anointed blind man. He met Jesus, but he left with blindness. And Jesus pointed him to a man that was not popular. If it were you, you would say, Jesus, what is wrong with you healing me at that point? But I realized, I discovered Ananias was a man that what? Wait on the Lord. Because Ananias was always waiting upon the Lord. They that we do mighty things, strong and do exploit a day that wait on the Lord. And when all of them backslid, what happened was simple. Jesus had to appear again to them. The life course future has the ability to return you back to the normal confinement to which was comfortable to you before. But adventure, you were a drunkard, you were a smoker. And now you got born again. If you don't remain within this economy of life, one day the frustration of life will take you back to want to drink again. So immediately when Jesus Christ left them, all of them went back a fishing. 
They went back and carried their boat. Something they left, they returned back to it. And he appeared to them again. He said, tarry ye in Jerusalem until you are endued with power. Come on. So we now saw that the reason to which why they were fainting was simply because they failed to tarry. And because they did not tarry, they could not be endued with power. There was power made available from on high. But the power is only going to come to those that tarry. And the location was given. As omnipresence. As God can be. As ubiquitous as the Holy Ghost can be. The man asked, where can I hide from your presence? But as much as the Holy Ghost can be everywhere. He refused to be everywhere in that day. The location for the meeting was what? The upper room in Jerusalem. So it doesn't matter where you are at that time. If you are not at the upper room in Jerusalem, you will not even know there was a Holy Ghost. I will show you there was a man of God, an apostle to that drag congregation with Paul. I lay foundation. Apollos waters. God give the increase. But do you know the man you call Apollos was a disciple that was actually under the government of someone that Paul mentored. Paul mentored Aquila and Priscilla in his place of tent making business. Many of you are business people. That person you are teaching in the place of business. That person, that's why I say you can be in your office sometimes be wear your ordination. You can be in your office sometimes wear that cap. You don't know whether you will save an Aquila and Priscilla in that school that you are teaching. You should know when to switch from A for apple, B for ball, and say the spirit of the Lord said. Because you may end up getting an Aquila and a Priscilla. You are strengthening the brethren. And one day Apollos appeared and he was teaching. And all his teaching was dead. There was nothing life attached to it. Nothing of the Holy Ghost. And Aquila and Priscilla took him to the angle. Expounded the scripture to him. And when life and light came, he became a mighty man. But what I want to submit to you here is simple. Do you realize that as powerful as Paul is, his strength is in how much more he continued to wait on the Lord. He isolated himself several times to be endued with power. Because until you are endued with power, you cannot remain in this present economy. It doesn't matter who you are. Till today, I still isolate myself to go and be endured. Of course, many more times, one of the hardest things you can do to a preacher is to tell him to stop preaching. Tell him, stop, retreat. Tell him, calm down. Do you know why? You can be so busy with administration until the devil cut your neck. You now realize that there is no power to carry the city gate again. The reason why you expired is because you did not wait on the Lord. So they tarry in the upper room so that they can be endued with power. I trust God that the power of God is going to come to the atmosphere to strengthen, to equip, and to ensure that none of us will be feeble so that the least among us can be as strong as David. There is a cave called Adulam to which mighty men are built. And I speak unto those that claim and believe they are weak. Because it is to you that is made available the strength of God. Out of weakness comes strength. Because those that are strong do not need God again. So the ones that were feeble, all of them gather in the upper room. And they gather, they began to pray in the flesh. As what we call the flesh. Until there was a rattling in the spirit. I don't know why you are here. For all the days of the conference, it was sufficient enough for you to go home. But if you are here, it's because you are looking for another endowment. They asked him a question. Will you again restore the kingdom back to Israel? He says, it's not of you to know. But you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost. Let's come up. In the book of Revelation chapter 5, from 1, the Bible speaks about 
a challenge in heaven. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat upon the throne a book written within and on the backside sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice who is worthy to open the book and lose the seal thereof. And no man in heaven nor in the earth neither under the earth was able to open the book neither to look thereon. So you see there are three locations. There is a location called the heavens. Hmm? There's another called what? The earth. There's another called <laughs> So there are three locations to which powers are commanded. There are three locations that have ranking people. But we saw a revelation of a book that was sealed, carrying the possibilities of men. But yet again, no man cannot see it. And you see, the problem of that scroll is that that scroll was actually sealed by a man. So it required a man to unseal it. A man of stature, a man of capacity came and sealed up. It's just like when Elijah came and said, as long as the Lord liveth. So that man that sealed it has a stature, a capacity. And no man I don't have a time to tell you who sealed this thing. Have you read the prophecy of a man named Have you read some prophecy of Jeremiah? Read some prophecy of Daniel? You realize that there was a prophecy they sealed. There was something they did not talk about. Have you read the story the encounters of Paul? How he said he knew a man 14 years ago that was caught up and the man saw things that were unlocked. So there were things that was revealed but were sealed. There are things that God revealed to Apostle Abila, Apostle Wen, that he sealed it for a time. You can follow through an economy in him, and one day it will be. So he will not, you will not even know that it's true, what you are getting was through the person. You can be following Apostle Bulus, and you never know anything about sounds. Nothing. And as you are following him, one day you will just be sleeping, a seal will open, and you begin to sing new songs. And you wonder, what is this? What happened was that a man of capacities has a realm to which he seal. But because you followed through that corridor, eh, you are helped and enabled by Ebenezer and now you unseal it. So you read into the possibilities. So when these things were sealed, the man that will have to unseal it must have to go to another protocol. The totality of the inheritance of mankind were sealed in this book, sir. And that was why Jesus Christ had to find a way to leave heaven and come to the earth to ensure that he returned back to heaven and unseal the book. Psalm 110 and the Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou at my right hand until I make thy enemy thy footstool. When you go, you begin to advance, you realize that Jesus Christ came as a a slave in keeping to the order of the prophetic and the order of the priesthood. And he sit upon the scepter of Melchizedek, sit upon the prophetic thrones to which David occupied all through a while. A summation of the prophet, the priest, and the law. And out of him, the foundation of the apostolic and the prophetic is established. But when you advance, and that's Revelation 5, right? An elder in heaven beckoned upon when the angel began to weep. And the elder told him that weep not. He said, and I weep so much. And the elder said unto me, weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David has prevailed to open the book and to lose the seal. If Jesus did not resurrect, there are many things that me and you will never have access to. Why? Because they were sealed in a book in heaven. And God will never unseal it. There are many things about your life that are sealed, my friends. This night we are going to unlock the seal. We are going to open the seals. See? Why? Because a lion has prevailed. We are going to sit upon the economy of the finished work of Christ and say, let the two-leaf gate be opened. The day came, I got so angry about my life. 
I said, if there's anything called a realm in God, let me enter. I stopped, I stopped doing the bad things. I stopped doing everything. I stopped. How come the heaven upon me is brass? How come the heaven is closed? How comes I read about the testimonies of man? Am I a different species? Is that how much God hates me? I realize that I have to come to a point to realize that since from the days of John the Baptist till now, the kingdom of God suffered violent. Only the violent take it by force. See, don't take it easy, take it hard. This night is a time to pray so hard. The Bible is speaking in the book of Ephesians chapter 1 from 18. Is it 1, 18 or 6, 18 now? He said, in this ongoing warfare, prayer is essential. And you are demanded to pray hard and pray long. In this ongoing warfare. Do you know how many things are trying to stop this meeting? You don't have an idea. See, my protocol here. We were coming. The car almost sat. We, about, we, we almost ran into the... We ran. We almost went to Tombo. They were shouting, Jesus, Jesus. See, one Jesus is enough. I don't know how he navigated and entered into one place like that. A car came to, for us to collide. I have escaped accidents several times without dying. I have escaped plane crash several times. And I knew that we are not surviving because we are wise. I knew I'm not surviving because I know it. No. Have you been in a plane before and you are praying, let it land safe? We were pressed beyond measure. But somehow, all this happens so that we trust not in ourselves, but in a God that can what? Raise the dead. There are several times that the devil come to cover us. But yet again, we come out. Do you know why? There is a seal you have opened. There is a scroll you have partaken of that death cannot swallow you. The Bible says death cannot hold him down. Because even in the grave, Jesus is still Lord. You can enter into a life and you can ask, Oh sin, where is thy power? Oh grave. You will now realize that there is nothing he can do to you. And that valve will be unlocked this night upon you. There is none of us that will live here without something in God. See, this thing is not cliche. But eventually, if we have to lay hands on everybody, everybody must come into something. And for those to whom they are already inside something but they need an upgrade, you can be upgraded. It's very possible. But you must be able to believe it and pray and bear so much capacity. He told the woman, borrow more vessels, not few, borrow so many. My last scripture, so that we can pray. Ephesians chapter hmm. Ephesians chapter 6. Let me do 4. 4 from 8. Ephesians chapter 4 from 8. Sorry, 4 from 8. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 8, right? Wherefore he said, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gift unto men. Now he that ascended is the same he that also what? Descended. Above all heavens that he may fill all things. And he gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edification of the body till we all come into the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ that we henceforth be no more children to store and through and carry away about by every wind of doctrine whether you like it or not 
we are in the era of the apostles and the prophet. This is where I know. Even if you are an evangelist, you are an apostle, you are a pastor, you are, I, don't, I don't care to know what you are within this confines of this gift he gave. But the, the gift to which is needed to herald the last day move of God is apostles and prophets. No wonder the insult in the prophetic order. If you are an evangelist, there is a prophetic dimension to that evangelism that will be needed for this last day. Because evangelism now change. You will require accuracy in prophetic to bring men to their knees. There must be a tongue and a pen that they must give unto you in the spirit that you can inscribe upon the heart of men. If you are a pastor, there is an apostolic DNA you must also encode within your pastoral calling to survive these last days. Because pastoring has changed now. If not, you will matter. I'm just trying to let that you won't, you won't strike any chord within the spirit realm. Don't tell me you are called to do small things. I don't believe that. This last day is not for small things. If you are in the village there, they will know. The princes of the world will know. The government will know. Because there is a shaking going on in this last day. Everywhere you are, they must know. So if you check, Dr. Paul and Nature will say he's pastor. Dr. Paul and Nature, is he a pastor? You know there is an apostolic DNA there. No one that enter into any land, he breaks through the card ground. That the Adebo will tell you he's a pastor. Is he a pastor? Bishop Adebo will tell you he's a bishop. Is he a bishop? Those are apostolic men. It will require the apostolic grace to be a wise master builder for you to be able to survive in hard ground. And Christianity has never been as hard as it is now. And it will require the prophetic for you to be able to see afar off. A psalmist eh, is out of the combination of the apostolic and the prophetic because psalmists sit upon two offices. They sit upon the apostolic office and the prophetic office. From that eye view, they are able to interpret the written script of God through sounds. And so, you will not know why you are gravitating towards certain people in this season. It's because the lamb's stance has been lit. But my challenge is that you have not been able to read from the scrolls. Why? You have not allowed a spirit to carry you. This night, one of your prayer is, Oh God, let an angel lighten my lamp stand. So that we don't, you don't appear before God. Everybody is born in you, dead. Because until the thing begins to burn, you will not even know who you are everything we are talking here will be story and let it not be that you are here and you want to finish from this conference and return back to that your carnal life return back to that your boyfriend as usual return back to that your boss girl as usual return back to that your twerking as usual hey! you want to finish from here and go back to being a fine girl what a waste of fine have you read about the, your predecessor? Have you read about Esther? Esther was a fine lady. She was not slaying Yahoo boys. She was slaying kings. When Esther passed by a king, a king don't know what to do again. You, you are trapped, stupid men. Stupid men. You have been trying to seduce apostles for long. You can't succeed. You know why? No oil. There are frequencies to which we broadcast. If you speak that language, we connect. So the only reason why you'll be a fine lady we can relate is because there is something upon your head. If it's not, I don't know who you. I don't check your picture to see whether you are fine. I check the content of your spirit. That is a texture. If you don't carry, you don't carry it. There are things we check from your utterances to know whether you are fine. Because what men call fine, spirit don't call it fine. What spirit call fine is an utterances in the spirit. I 
and you don't know that your beauty is hidden in the spirit you think it's about upgrading with pancake and masala you will spend all your money and finish and the more you are spending money the more your skin decay the more the adamic nature envelop you the power of resurrection has nothing to do with external beautification Esther say let's fast and pray if I perish I perish I thought because her beauty brought her to the palace fasting and prayer I kept her in the palace if you seduce me I marry you will you keep on seducing me to remain in the marriage one day die get out your beauty cannot keep you for so long you know why it fade away why labor after the mundane there are things that keep men in this economy it's a texture in the spirit and that can only happen when a spirit breathes upon you there is an ego that flies it rested upon jesus and remain you in this conference it came it went it came it went when will you come and you hold it and say remain the goal of this impactation is let the ego come and rest and remain and let the lord utter a voice and say this is my beloved child upon whom i am well pleased see this night everything must die you are not going to be selling your bet right upon pleasure again never again he look upon the angel he said i will let you go until you bless me God have blessed me from heaven. You don't want to bless me on the earth. You want to come and go. It's a lie. Stay here. Many of you have seen. I, I see angel. And what next? He didn't give you money. He didn't give you healing anointing. He didn't give you power. He didn't give you anything. You allow him to go. And you remain the way you are. Are you not ashamed of seeing the angel? Men saw angels. Their life changed. We have seen cherubim, we have seen seraphim. What you don't know how to do is to make it remain. My friends, your beauty is a waste of time. A young man, they have deceived you. Tall, dark, and handsome is a disadvantage. It only matters at the club. In this atmosphere, we don't know it. Who shall ascend unto the hills of the Lord? Who shall stand upon the holy mountains of the Lord? We are in a holy convocation. There are criteria. If not, they don't know you. Can you alter words and heaven will shift? I'm looking for a woman that when she shout, heaven gate will be open. As she's talking, your spirit is, yeah, there is some, it's not butterfly flying. Uh -uh. There is fire, there is flame. Not these ladies of our generation now that everybody is you want to trend but you are not using better content it's the breast and the bumble in the days demons come can your butters save us because your butters are not stature in the spirit your breast is not a stature in the spirit there is no woman in scripture that the Bible refers to her butters, her bum bum, or anything as a criteria in this economy. In fact, if you check, if you watch olden days women, they are very slim. Do you know why? Fasting and prayer has disfigured them. Ladies of another days are looking for comfort zone. Are looking for what does not discomfort them. Me, I don't like problem. Me, I don't like stress. I don't like this. Go and find out and learn from your mothers. They were not like that. Oh, Timothy, I have seen the faith upon your grandmother and your mother. When will the Lord reckon upon the faith that is in you for your children? You are still about to give birth to confused people to this generation. Do you know the reason why there are wayward children moving about is because their mothers seriously were not deliberate about their birth. You don't even have a plan eh, to give birth to godly children, you like this, and you want to marry an apostle. Who do you want to come and kill? If any children become wayward, check, their mother was irresponsible. 
as the father is moving about slaying giant the mother cannot slay the giant that are around the confines of the children at all honey let's pray together pray alone hannah was praying alone in the temple what if i die today won't you keep on praying you are looking for who will help you revive your dead prayer altar. When will you become a woman of strength? In the days of Deborah, we never had that Labidot was carrying her. Deborah stood on her own and every nation came to bow. The prophetic recovery in these last days is the prophetic and the apostolic. Men mostly will occupy the apostolic order for structural balance. Women will take the inclination of the prophetic for guardianship and direction. We will only obey you women the day you are prophetic. We will hear your counsel. When you enter into the ordination of your prophetic as Deborah, when you speak, we know your word will not fall to the ground. Not all these emotional things you do. So you must understand that you are not an emotional being. You are a warrior in the spirit. This night, many of you will enter into your ordination so that our ministries will not fail. Our families should not fail. Our territory should not fail. You must be able to bear the yoke and say, oh, my husband, this giant, I will slay it for you. No wonder the king gravitated towards Jezebel. Hey, worry not. If God is in heaven, me, I will deal with this man. If a woman swear, a man will be afraid. But how many women can swear? You can you swear and say you will stand upon the gate and watch you and keep it for one month? You will not. Because as unstable as waters, so are women. In this night, when we begin to pray, I want you to pray the grace to remain. Because at the tail end, you can live here now and return back to that same weaknesses that crumble you. Because it's possible for you to faint. We are looking for women that will be able to bear the candle lampstands of the Lord. We are not looking for distraction in our society. I am an enemy of everything that is not of God. If anything that fights me, fights you, will you survive? Can you? So you need to be able to carry your weapon of war. And learn how to exercise it. And if the challenge gets so terrible, learn how to use your wings and fly to a safe location. Carry my children with you. The day came, Rachel was weeping for her children because they were no more. What happened to her wings? How comes Rachel did not carry the children and take them to safety? Do you realize that she survived, but the children died? I blame her. I did not blame the children. And Rachel, we for our children because they were no more. How did you escape, Rachel? How did you not leave the children? Is there not a technology in the spirit that you can also carry the children? Is it not the drop of the hand? You cover, protect the children from that hawk. We are looking for mothers that will be like hand that we cover and keep. And those were the bodas. Can you rise up on your feet as you begin to cry? Before I lay hands on you, before we look upon your infirmities and your sicknesses. Can you pray and so God activate the candle lampstands of my ordination. In this conference, let me return back another man. Let me return back another woman. Let me not go back to that home the same. Let me not go back to that ministry the same. Let me not go back to my life the same. Let it be that something happened unto me. I don't believe in too much talk. I believe in the power of God. There are things that talk does not do. I tell you. We have talked and talked and talked. You have been hearing talk for so long. Paraventure, you realize there is a power that has afflicted you for so long. Now it's time to rebel. And if you rebel, you rebel. And when it's time to lay hands, come. We will join faith together with you. Nobody was supposed to be weak. Nobody is supposed to be feeble. Ask the Lord for a strength. We are done. It's time to pray and be empowered.
Sabalena Kaskeberias Kata. I tap into the economy of the resurrection life. Jesus said, I am the resurrection, I am the life. He that believeth in me, although he is dead, he shall live. But he that live and believe in me will never die. My friends, now is the time to begin to pray and say, Oh God, I believe in thee. I believe in thee. Help me not to die again. Enough of backsliding. Enough of rising and falling. Enough of up today, down tomorrow. When will I stand strong? When will I stay strong? Hey! As the Lord quicken me and I will call upon your name. Oh God, silence the appetite of the flesh. Silence the appetite of the flesh. Silence the weapons of the devil. I stand against that lust. I stand against that depression. I stand against that sickness. I stand against that inordinate affection. I stand against that generational cause. I stand against that pattern and causes. I stand against that spirit of failure. I stand against that spirit of backwardness. Challenge it this night. Hey. Shabale sabri askaba. Ranta kaba. As the Lord let every yoke break. Enough of nightmares. Enough of nightmares. All those nightmares. Attack at night. Oppress at night. No. Let it stop. Let it stop. Let it stop. Let it stop. I refuse to be oppressed. I refuse to be demonized. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. Don't be easy on yourself. Be hard on yourself. The Bible said, It shall come to pass when the yoke shall be taken away from your shoulder because of the anointing. Through the greatness of thy power, with the enemy submit thyself. As the Lord, Father, empower me again. Empower me for my life, for my ministry, for my family. How comes every relationship you enter break? How comes every business you do stand bad? How comes that ministry is failing? How comes you are captured by lust? How comes? How comes? How comes? You backslide all the time. That is a weapon of the enemy. That is a weapon of the enemy. Awake, awake, oh Deborah. Arise, arise, oh Deborah. You are not a weaker vessel. You are not a weaker vessel. You are a warrior in the spirit. Oh young woman. Oh young woman. Forget about your beauty. Now is the time to get an advantage in the spirit. Forget about your beauty. Forget about pancake. Forget about masala. Oh young man, forget about your calling. Forget about your name. Forget about your thought, that and handsomeness. Now is the time to assess the weapon. The weapon of war. The weapon of war. Your weapon of advantage. Oh God of heaven, I contend for my ordination. I contend for my ordination. Oh my God. Yes, yes, yes. Where your father stop, you will not stop. Where your mother stop, you will not stop. You cannot stop like them. You are more than this. You are more than this. You are more than this. Hey! You are more than this. It doesn't matter whether you are in Panshi. It doesn't matter whether you are in Mangu. It doesn't matter. The earth is the Lord. The earth is the Lord. The earth is the Lord. Hey, 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 hey. As the Lord for an upgrade. As the Lord for an upgrade. As the Lord for an upgrade. Upon the mountain of Ebenezer. Upon the mountain of Ebenezer. Upon the mountain of the help of the Lord. Oh God, marvelously help me. Marvelously help me, oh God. Hey, 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 hey. The fire of God. The glory of God. Many of you have lost your ordination. You have lost the glory of God. A boy, a boy took it away. It is being restored tonight. It is being restored tonight. Many of you, your weapons have been broken. I see another weapon formed. Fought for you. Hey, hey, hey. Bolo vessel, bolo vessel. 
Bodo vessel, Bodo vessel. You will not return back the same. Your school will catch fire. Your family will catch fire. Your house will catch fire. Your ministry will catch fire. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Every dead altars, dead prayer altars, the Lord reawakening you again. Dead prayer altars, dead prayer altars, your prayer grace, your prayer grace, your prophetic gift. Oh my God. Tonight is for the apostolic and the prophetic. Tonight is for the apostolic and the prophetic. If you are an evangelist, ask God for prophetic. If you are a pastor or a teacher, ask God for the apostolic. If you can believe God for all, ask God, I step into the fullness of my ordination. New sounds will come. New utterances will come. Yes, 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 yes. Don't be distracted. The heavens are open. The heavens are open. The heavens are open. The angels of the Lord are coming into the hall. The angels of the Lord are entering into the hall. Are you ready? Are you ready? The angels of the Lord. The Benayelo hymns. I have come to activate you. I have come to activate you. I have come to activate you. No one is small. Ushers, help them. I see 10 people. 10 people. Ushers, bring them here. 10 people. The angels of the Lord step into the hall. 10 prophets. 10 prophets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I baptize you with that fire. Ushers, help them. Help them, help them. Upon your feet, upon your palm, upon your feet, upon your palm. Then prophet, then prophet, then prophet. The hand of the Lord rest upon you. From the front to the back, from the back to the front. I baptize you with fire. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Yes, 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 yes. I see five people. Your eyes are being opened. Your eyes are being opened right now. Right now. Ushers, locate me those five people. An angel, wash your eyes with eyes off. Now, now, now. At the count of three. One, two, three. I unleash it. Yes, yes, yes. Ushers, help them. One, two, three. Four, five. Take that fire. Take that grace. Take that fire. Take that grace. Ushers, help them. Oh my God. I see oil and wine. I see oil and wine pouring upon someone. Oil and wine pouring upon someone. At the count of four. Take it. Take it. Take it, take it. The ordination is lit. The ordination is lit. Ushers, bring them here. Bring them here. Bring them here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I bring fire. I bring fire. I bring fire. I bring fire. Yes, yes, yes. Ushers, help them. Help them. Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. Hey, 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 hey. Oh my God. 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 Fresh fire. Fresh grace. Fresh fire. Fresh grace. All shall help them. Fresh grace. Fresh fire. I saw a lady, a lady, an angel is beating upon you now. An angel is beating upon you. An angel is beating upon you. You will feel like fire. 
Fire around you. Fire around you. Fire around you. Fire around you. At the count of three. One. Two. Three. Let the wind blow. Let the wind blow. Ushers, look at that lady. Look at that lady. Yes, it's you. Yes, it's you. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, the Lord ordained praise for the days of war, for the days of adversity. My name is Philip Cephas. I have come to strengthen you. My name is Philip Cephas. I have come to strengthen you. Where are the prophets? Where are the prophets? Where are the prophets? There is a number. In. There is a number. In. An angel measure you. An angel measure. The hand of the Lord rest upon the apostles. The apostles. The apostles. The apostles. There are five of you. There are five of you at the count of three. My name is Philip Cephas. As you hear my voice, I activate you. I activate you. Ushers, locate me. Those five apostles. Five apostles. One, two, three, four, five. An invisible hand touch you. Ushers, help them. One, two, three, four, five. I baptize you. I baptize you. Step into your call. Step into your call. A fire beyond you. A fire beyond you. A fire beyond you. A fire beyond you. Where are the apostles? Where are the apostles? Your ordination cannot be shut down. I came to strengthen you. I came to strengthen you. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Someone at the back. Someone at the back. I see like a water. A water being poured on you. A water being poured on you. A water being poured on you. Oh, just look at that person. Look at that person. Look at that person. He's a river. Is the river of life. Hey, hey, hey. You cannot resist it. You cannot resist it. Fresh fire. Fresh water. Out of your belly. Out of your belly. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. As I touch you, nobody can stop your calling. Nobody stop me. Nobody will stop you. Go and be better than us. Go and be better than us. A thousand times. Yes. Take that grace. 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 Yes, yes, yes. The angels of the Lord are touching you. Make sure I touch them. Make sure I touch them. From the land of Bangshi, from the land of Mungu, from the land of Lantan, arise another army. I number you among the warriors of the Lord. I number you. I number you. An angel walk with you. An angel walk with you. I activate him. Your calling is not supposed to suffer. Your calling is not supposed to suffer. I baptize you. I baptize you. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. The battle of the warrior is with confusing noise. I hear sound in the spirit. I hear sound in the spirit. As you hear the sound, an anointing rest upon you. As you hear the sound, an anointing rest upon you. Take the fire. Fresh fire. 
Fresh grace. Fresh fire. Fresh grace. Fresh grace. Fresh grace. I saw four people. You have lost your concentration. It's been restored. It's been restored. It's been restored. It's been restored. The oil of the Lord come upon you now. Now. Yes. I breathe life. I breathe life. I breathe life. Hey. Yes. I see five people. You are under demonic oppression. Five people. You are under demonic oppression. At the count of three, that's when he leave you now. Ushers, locate them. Locate them. One, two, three. Every spirit hiding in your body begin to manifest right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. I set your body on fire. I set your body on fire. I set it on fire. Hey, 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 hey. I baptize you anew. I baptize you anew. I baptize you anew. I open your eyes to see. I open your ears to hear. The seeing eyes. And the hearing ears. I see the angel of the Lord moving into the congregation. The angel of war. The angel of war. That battle is over. That battle is over. I see four people. That battle is over. That battle is over. Yes. 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 Fire. 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 Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. New tongues. New tongues are being given. Watch as help. New tongues. New tongues. A promotion. A promotion. A promotion. By new tongues. New tongues. New tongues. New tongues. New tongues. I call you higher. I call you higher. I call you higher. Hey. Take that grace. I said, take that grace. My name is Philip Cephas. I shall stand by you. I baptize you with the apostolic unction. At the count of four. One, two, three, four. I push you into the river. I push you into the river. I push you into the river. Enter the overflow. Enter the overflow. Enter the overflow. Enter the overflow. I baptize you. I baptize you. I baptize you. I baptize you. More fire. More oil. To ye that lack strength, the Lord increase might. The Lord increase might unto them that carry capacity. Unto them that carry capacity. Your voice shall be heard. Beyond the shores of plateau, beyond the corridors of the plateau, beyond the corridors of the plateau, I see someone. I see this are being given to you. You are living in Nigeria. It has been a contention upon this altar. Your calling is not in Nigeria. I release fire, 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 fire. Every spirit of limitation, I break it. Your calling is being sharpened. Your calling is being sharpened. Your calling is being sharpened. I see the grace for prayer and supplication being released. The grace for prayer and supplication. The grace. The Lord strengthen your call. 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 
The Lord strengthen your call. Woo! Oh, shall them. The Lord strengthen your call. Woo! I say some of you we will have to push you into the pool. Woo! We will have to push you into the pool. Yes, yes, yes. Fresh fire. Fresh grace. Fresh fire. Fresh grace. I baptize you. Fresh fire. Fresh grace. Fresh fire. Many of you are sick in your body. I see the Lord healing you. The Lord heal your sickness. Touch where you are sick. Anywhere that is spreading you, touch it. The angel of the Lord is touching you. The angel of the Lord is touching you. Wherever the sickness is. Wherever the sickness. Yes. Every demonic spirit, leave your body now. Now, 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 now. Right. Leave your kite. My name is Philip Cephas. Yes. I baptize you. Everything limiting you from functioning your call. I silence it. 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 Negative voices. Negative speaking. I silence them. Enter into the river. Enter into the river. Enter into the river. Enter into the river. Gift of the spirit are falling. Gift of the spirit are falling. Give things of the spirit. Give things of the spirit. You will return back another man. You will return back another man. What you have not done in 10 years, you will do in two days. What you have not been able to achieve. As if fresh appointment, fresh grace, fresh allocation. Fresh allocation. Fresh allocation. Fresh allocation. Every accusation is cancelled. Every accusation is cancelled. Every accusation is cancelled. I see a fire here. A fire here. No more letters. Spirit that give life. I pray for you. The Lord breathe upon you. The Lord breathe upon you. Fire, fire. Fire. An angel of the Lord is touching this man. Strange anointing. Strange grace. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings. Normal people. Yes. Mothers after the order of Deborah. Mothers after the order of Deborah. Mothers after the order of Deborah. I baptize you in fresh oil. Fresh oil to function. 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 There is a grace here. There is a grace here. There is a grace here. Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. Osha, hold up. Take that grace. Take that grace. Wherever you are in the hall, I don't have to touch you, but the power of God is already around. I may not see you. The angel of the Lord see you. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Take that grace, take that grace. Take that grace, take that grace, take that grace. Take that fire, take that fire. Fresh fire, fresh fire. That lady on red, an angel is touching you. My hand cannot reach you. An angel is touching you. Fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, take that grace. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Kai, 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 kai. Every activity of the devil, every spirit limiting you from entering your call. I silence it. Take that grace. Take 
Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. You are not small. You are not small. Your business, every warfare ends. Yes. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. I believe the anointing of God. The anointing of God. The anointing of God. I see four people. Your hands is burning. Your hands is burning. You, I see the Lord using you mightily. Every limitation, I end it. That is a call of God upon you. You don't even believe it. In the name of Jesus, I activate it. I activate it. I activate it by the fire of the Lord, by the flame. I see resistance around your call. But right now, I bring a warfare. I bring judgment upon those resistance. Hold away. I bring judgment. I see a spirit trying to receive the call of God upon you. As you are holding this lady, I see a contention with an angel. You cannot fail. You cannot fail. You cannot fail. I empower you with grace. I empower you with grace. I empower you with grace. Every sickness go. Every disease go. Every doctor's report go, 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 go. You shall excel. You shall excel. You shall excel. Where your bell and stop, you will not stop. I break that limitation. I break that limitation. I commit to you grace. I commit to you grace. Hold up. Hold up. Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. I commit to you grace. I commit to you grace. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Take that grace. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Take that grace. The eyes to see and the ears to hear. The eyes to see and the ears to hear. I see a numbering in the spirit. A numbering, a numbering. I see a numbering in the spirit. The Lord numbers you. An angel say, Come up higher. 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 Yes. Yes. The Lord show you mercy. The Lord show you mercy. The Lord show you mercy. Step into the pool. Step into the pool. Step into the pool. I see fire here. I see fire here. I see fire here. I see fire here. Step into the river. Step into the river. Every spirit of lust. Every spirit of lust. I break your power. I see five people struggling with the spirit of lust. I break it. Masturbation. Pornography. I bring it to an end. I see an apostolic call. An apostolic call. I empower you. I see a lady. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. The grace of God speak for you. The grace of the Lord speak for you. I see greatness here. But I see contention. I see warfare. At this very moment, I commit unto you the grace to break through. I join my faith with the faith of your father. I decree and I declare this very moment. Let there be breakthrough. There is an oil upon your head. An oil that makes the difference. An anointing. An anointing. A sweet smelling savour. Savour unto the Lord. A savour unto the Lord. Take that grace. Take that grace. I hear the Lord say no limitation. 
No limitations. No more limitations. No more limitations. No more limitations. No more limitations. You shall flourish like the palm tree. You shall flourish. Flourish like the palm tree. Every sickness. Every sickness. Every disease. Every sickness, every disease, I decree and I declare your ministry take a new shape. Your ministries take a new shape. Your ministries take a new shape. Influence, influence, global influence, global recognition, global influence, global recognition. Global recognition, global recognition, apostolic influence, apostolic influence, apostolic influence. I see five scrolls, five scrolls are being read. Names of people are being mentioned. I decree and I declare from this very moment, may your name be registered. I number you, I number you. I number you among the pure breed, among the pure breed, among the pure, pure apostolic and prophetic breed. I number you, I number you, I number you. New psalmists will rise, new songs will emerge, new songs will emerge, new songs will emerge. New songs, new songs, new songs, new songs we emerge. The spirit of excellence, the spirit of creativity, the spirit of excellence, the spirit of creativity and innovation, the wisdom of God. The Lord measure numbers. The Lord numbers. The Lord measure. The Lord weighs. The Lord numbers. The Lord measure. The Lord weighs. Global recognition. Global influence. Beyond the shores of Nigeria. Beyond the shores of Joss. By the power of the Lord. Let the apostolic spirit pray to you. Let the psalmist grace usher you into a new realm because of your faithfulness, because of your obedience. I measure an inheritance for you. I measure an inheritance for you. I measure an inheritance for you. I measure, I measure, I measure, I measure that which you did not end. May it be given to you. I join faith together with your father. We give you a portion among the great. We give you a portion among the great. A portion among the great. Utter new decree and it will be established. The Lord is with thee. The Lord is with thee. Fresh grace. Fresh oil. Fresh grace. Fresh oil. I baptize you anew. As you go back, you will decree a thing to be established. You will speak again and there will be a resurrection. By the power and the emblem of the Lord. Let your strength stop. Let the strength of the Lord continue. Let your strength stop. I see the spirit of holiness. The spirit of holiness. Judging every unholiness. Purity must emerge again. Purity must emerge again. Who shall ascend unto the hills of the Lord? Who shall ascend unto the hills of the Lord? Hey, an intercessor is here. An intercessor is here. An intercessor like the Buddha. The Lord said, Your prayers have been answered. Your prayers have been answered. Your prayers have been answered. Every wayward child shall be encountered by the Lord. Every smoker, every drunkard shall meet the Lord. Every masturbator will see Jesus. Every drunkard, 
every everyone the lord god of heaven put upon you sweet smelling savour the savour of the almighty the savour blessed are you among women blessed are you among women says the lord blessed are you among women says the lord Blessed that thou are among women. Blessed that thou are among men. A fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh measure, fresh measure, fresh measure. Take it, Usher, stand by her. Take it. One, two, three, four. Take it. Your heart born. Your stomach born. I sharpen your grace. I sharpen your grace. Hold your hand, the three of you. I decree and I declare. Do better than us. Let the grace of the Lord, let the apostolic spirit work for you. At the count of three. One, two, three. Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. Fresh fire. Fresh altars. Fresh altars. Fresh grace. Fresh altars. Conquer mortality. Conquer mortality. Conquer mortality. You cannot be small. You cannot be small. You cannot be stopped. That is a shift in the atmosphere of just. That is a shift in the atmosphere of the plateau. We are the choir. There is an upgrade. There is an upgrade. If you are not updated, you can't hear the current frequency. There is an upgrade in the spirit. An elevation in the spirit. Yesterday we said, borrow more verses. As my hand come upon you, if it is keyboard you play, keyboard to take you beyond Nigeria. If it is drum you play, an ordination sharpens. Whatsoever you do, as the oil come upon you, your candle lamp stands lead. And every area of your life, what you do become a weapon to act on to it. I decree and I declare, as my hand come upon you, let doors be open. Let doors be open. Let there be a fresh grace. Let there be a fresh fire. A fresh fire. Fresh baptism. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Carry the grace. Carry the grace. Carry the grace. Carry the grace of the Lord. Carry the grace of the Lord. I breathe upon you. Carry the grace of the Lord. 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 Carry the grace. Carry the grace. Every limitation, every limitation breaks. Carry the grace. Yes. Ephrata. I see doors open. Every contention end. You have gone through tumults. You have gone through persecutions. You have gone through backlashes. The Lord said, out of the ashes of dying, a new glory reveal. A new glory reveal. A new glory reveal. Let there be a breaking forth of a new day. Let there be a breaking forth of a new down o by the power and the authority of the Lord. Oshas and protocol, can you just receive at the same time? Oshas and protocol. For your service in the house of God, as my hand come upon you, everything that you could not achieve, I decree and I declare, hold up, I decree and I declare, no more limitations, no more limitations. Oh, no more limitation, no more limitation. I say limitation, I say barrier. There are certain things you want to achieve. Right now, Ephrata, 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 Ephrata. Strange grace that break every limitations. Your wife shall become another woman by the authority of the Lord, by the emblem of Elohim. I breathe life upon you. Everything that has been dead be quickened back to life. Shaiska. Rante ki kavari asatade, Rabi lava, saile davane tia katate, rate tafari as katane. Yes, 
Yes. The prophetic grace is being stirred up. The prophetic grace is being stirred up. There is a stream that makes glad the city of God. There is a stream that makes glad the city of God. Hey, I see a shaking within the political landscape. I see a shaking within the political landscape. I see a shaking. I see a shaking. I see a shaking. Many of you are going to be repositioned strategically. Prophets in the marketplace. Apostles in the marketplace. I see the wealth of the Gentiles being converted for the righteous. Sudden turn around. I see ideas bringing billions. Ideas bringing billions. Out of lack comes an oil that men cannot buy. Because you have given that which the Lord has given unto you, the Lord reward you. Because you have broken your alabaster boss. Yet again, your cup shall be full with oil. LSC Avarash. The grace to break limitation. As my hand come upon you, I release fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh grace. Fresh fire. Fresh grace. The grace for favor. The grace for favor. The grace for favor. How can this thing be? The spirit of the Lord shall come upon thee. And the fire, power, the power of the highest shall envelop you and you shall conceive. The Lord said, ask no more, how shall it be? The provision and the supply of the Lord is with thee. The Lord God of heaven is with you. I grant you grace. The grace to pray through. You shall not be small. You shall not be small. Every verdict of death I cancel. Every sickness and disease be healed. As many that are sick in their body be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. There is a special grace upon As you play the sounds, you'll be given the privilege to make utterance and decree. I see the grace of a scribe upon you. That through the instrument you will write. And your writing is going to carry weight. I see the Lord opening a valve for you Amen. of insight and inspiration. A valve of insight Amen. and inspiration. I don't know what God will use it for, but I see beyond what we are doing. I see beyond what we are doing. Amen. And the Lord God of heaven said, I should commit unto you the grace for the new season. The grace for the new season. You cannot be shut down. You cannot be hindered. I pray true for you. Ish. Lift up your hands all around the hall. Anyone sick in their body, I decree and I declare, be healed in the name of Jesus. Every oppression of the enemy over your life, I cast it in the name of Jesus. Return back in the power of the resurrection and the life in the name of Jesus. Return back in the victory of the Lord in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare this night let there be a promotion for you right now in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever you lay your hands to do, I command it to prosper. I bless your businesses, I bless your occupation, I promote you in your offices. As many trusting God for an appointment, I grant it unto you in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare, you shall not be small in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Let every door be open for you in the name of Jesus. Receive the favor of God this week in the name of Jesus. As you return, every demonic and satanic oppression, I cancel them in the name of Jesus. I banish the spirit of death in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare miraculous marriages in the name of Jesus. I connect you to your destiny and past in the name of Jesus. I connect you to your husbands in the name of Jesus. I connect you to your wives in the name of Jesus. For those trusting God for an admission, receive it in the name of Jesus. For those trusting God to graduate, receive the grace to graduate in the name of Jesus. For those trusting God for financial blessings, I receive it for you in the name of Jesus. 
Let the heavens be opened for you in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare financial blessings in the name of Jesus. Go and prosper. Every weakness of the body is cancelled. Everything dead in you come alive again. Awake unto your ordination. From this night, supernatural encounters in the name of Jesus. The Lord, our God, is the King of glory. Yahweh Sabaoth. Yahweh Sabaoth. The Lord, the host, is the King of glory. Yahweh Sabaoth. Yahweh the Lord of hosts is the King of glory. Yahweh Sabaoth. Yahweh 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 Sabaoth. Yahweh Yahweh Oh Yahweh. The Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus, give the Lord a shout. The city of Jaws, give the Lord a shout. Garden of Flames, give the Lord a shout. If you know 2024 Ebenezer is a success, give the Lord a shout. Give the Lord a shout. Let the devil know he has lost. The devil is a bastard. Give the Lord a shout. Thank you so much. So sorry for taking so much of your time. I want to appreciate your father and everyone for having us here again. I've always said it's a great privilege to be here in the city of Joss. Thank you so much. It's my desire that you do better than us. And I know nothing will stop you. In the name of Jesus. The atmosphere is still intense. You go back in the same spirit. Some of you, when you go back, you have to go and retreat for an extra one week just to actualize this thing. And from tens, we we'll walk in the newness of that. By the time next Ebenezer, we hear the testimonies of what God is doing with you. Thank you so much for standing by your pastor, your father. Do your best to stand support as much as possible. That's the least you can do. Things of this multitude takes a lot. Only God himself can pioneer it and power it. I bring you greetings from Shekinah Network International in Lafayette. They say they love you and they celebrate you. Thank you again. With Jesus' joy, help me welcome again your beloved father, Apostle Joshua Abila. Abila Senior, that is Junior, Senior. Hallelujah. Uh, Pastor Dan, the other Dan, come, come. Yes, you now.